Good day, students. That is Mr. Moji. Uh, we'll be having uh, economics today, and the topic we want to look at this uh, today is uh, financial institutions. But before I go into that topic, I would like to uh, make reference to our previous lesson. In our previous lesson, we discussed about money. And when we are talking about money, money is anything that is generally accepted as million of equity and a settlement of payment. Or you can also define it as, uh, as generally acceptability and uh, means of uh, payment. So we discuss our money that everybody in the community should be able to accept money as a medium of exchange and uh, as well as a settlement of debts. So uh, let us look at the qualities of money as well. We discuss about the general acceptability. Everybody in the country or the nation or in the community should be able to accept uh, money as medium of exchange or a settlement of uh, Debt or means of payment. So uh, that is for the general acceptability. Then the uh, portability, money uh, to serve uh, as a medium of exchange, and it should be something that uh, people need to easily carry from one place to another. So that's a uh, money must be what portable that people can easily to carry from one place to another. Then durability, money to be able to uh, last for a long period of time. For, for a period of time, money should be able to last for, you know, I mean, for a long period of time. We also discuss about the homo, homo, uh, homogeneity. Homogeneity simply means money must have the same size, quality, and shape. So money should be able to have the same size. When we look at the, all these currencies, they must, have, they must have the same color, they must have the same size, and uh, the quality of the money must be the same. So we also discuss about the, the scarcity. Yes, money should be something. Money must not be something that will be scarce, so that people can be able to get on time to, for you know, to use it to consume uh, or to buy or for selling of uh, buy and selling of uh, goods and services. So uh, we also look at the uh, barter system. What we talk about the what we are talking about barter system that is the Exchange of good for good. We are using this in the old days. So we also discuss about the problems of a uh, battle system, whereby we have double co coincidence, wasting of time, looking for someone that will have what you are looking for before you can exchange that particular good. So these are all what we discuss in our, in our previous lesson. Then let us look at uh, uh, today, uh, today's topic. Uh, so you can see the topic on the screen, that's financial institutions. So the lesson objective, let us look at the le lesson objective. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to define financial institutions, explain the types of financial institutions, uh, describe the bank. Students should be able to define what bank is. And uh, they should be able to explain the central, uh, central bank and commercial Banks. So we'll be looking at this one after the other. So what is a financial institution? It's one of the uh, corporate body or an organization that process the financial transactions. What do I mean by financial transaction? We are talking about loans. So if you want to obtain loan, you need to go to this uh, organization, which is financial institution that they are the one that uh, we give out the loan. Then deposit, you want to make deposit. Maybe uh, you need a need for you to make this deposit. You want to, uh, I mean, deposit money uh, in the bank. So you go to the bank or you need what is called investment. Maybe you want to invest, you want to buy shares. So uh, you, have, you have to go to this, uh, uh, this uh, body, uh, which is uh, all this organization for this, uh, what they are doing. This are uh, the things they are doing in the uh, in this organization then they represent the main channel that's main channel uh the channel with, or the medium by which funds can flow from the lenders so lenders will be the bank and the borrowers will uh, be the customer so there will be uh interaction between the lenders 
and the borrowers. But mind you, I need to tell you, you can't just go to the bank and make request of uh, for the loan. Uh, that will be what in case when you default, when you are unable to pay, then I go to pay back. You pay back through the property that will stand in out. I mean, for your loan that will serve as collateral security. So uh, that is it. And you can also define it as a company that engage in business of dealing with financial and monetary transactions. We have talked about this. You don't want to define it as a process uh, of a financial transaction. You can also define it as a company that engage in the business of dealing with financial and monetary trans transactions. And this monetary transaction, we are talking about financial transactions, we are talking about, we are talking about uh, deposits. Yes, you have uh, enough money, you can take them to the bank for them to uh, keep for you. Then loan, uh, maybe you are in need of, uh, maybe you are in shortage of cash with you. Then the, the bank is be able to grant that loan. But not everybody, you that is having all less than what uh, maybe uh, the loan will be given to those the, uh, people that uh, are a businessmen that they know. So uh, they don't just give loan without any uh, anything that will stand in as collateral security. So uh, investment as well, you can also make investment there as well. Uh, then you can also do currency exchange. Yes, you can exchange uh, the, maybe the foreign uh, exchange. Maybe you want to exchange Naira to dollar. I want to exchange Naira to fast time. So uh, it, it's possible you can be doing business when you're in Nigeria here, you can be doing what is called trading with someone in uh, Europe, maybe in England, and that has to be uh, the current exchange need to take place. Then let us look at the financial institutions. Uh, this type uh, group into two, we have banking, and depository institutions. Uh, we have non-banking or uh, depository uh, institutions. So we'll be looking at this one after the other. Let us look at these banking uh, institutions. Uh, these are financial institutions that are allowed to accept. All these people accept deposit. They accept monetary deposit from the customers legally, not illegally. So they accept with the backing of the central bank. So they accept this deposit from the customer. Uh, uh, this includes the commercial bank asset deposit from the customer, service banks, they accept, credit union, and the loan association also accept uh, deposit. These are the banking uh, institutions. And you can also call it depository, depository institutions. So these are banking institutions. Let us look at non banking. These are financial institutions that serve as the intermediary between the savers. Uh, the savers are the depositors, or you can call uh, as depositors, and the borrowers. So, but they do not accept the time deposit. They don't accept time deposit. They don't accept deposit from the customers in this non banking uh, uh, and this non banking uh, institutions. And uh, let us look at non banking institutions as we look at it. The uh, banking, uh, non banking, we have insurance companies in case you want to insure your property against any uh, any. I mean, types of uh, uh, insurance, maybe any, maybe through the fire insurance or life insurance or motor vehicle insurance. So, it, uh, then finance companies, pension funds, and mutual funds. So, these are the banking, non banking uh, institutions. So, they do not accept deposit from the customers. And there is what is called relationship between the depositors and uh, as well as uh, the borrowers. So that's uh, mutual, uh, I mean, I uh, mean, uh, the mutual what, uh, what is called agreement between both of them, the depositors and the borrowers. Then what is bank itself? Bank is a financial institution in which money and other valuables are kept. So it's one of the institutions whereby you can keep your money there not only the money, 
even the document and other what other valuable document are uh, also kept for the purpose for this is for the what for safekeeping and loan are also given out to people. So the assets the uh, the bank is whereby money, not only money as well, other valuables, uh, goods, documents are also allowed to be uh, to, for safekeeping. And loan is also given out. So my student, this is how you can define a uh, bank. Uh, then let us look at uh, another way to define bank. Bank is also a place where, not where we keep money. That one is not, that is the definition of lima. Uh, it's also a place where money and valuable goods are kept. Money, as well as valuable goods are kept. Bank are uh, institutions that create, they create money. They make sure that uh, they generate what is called money. They ensure that uh, they, I mean, they try to bring, I mean, income to the company. And they also give out loan to people. So they give out loan to the people, uh, customers. So that, uh, then let us look at the merit of these financial institutions. One, they provide finance for a long term period. Uh, they provide, they ensure that they provide what is called money uh, for long term. If you want to, if you are, if, I mean, if you are in need of loan, then for a long period of time, the loan that you can pay more for after one year, not short term. Short term is within one year, then you pay the loan. So you pay this loan for a long period of time, they provide that, then they also reduce what is called body on the enterprises, on the business. They make sure that they reduce body uh, for the business uh, enterprises. Then financial institutions are able to provide finance even during the present period. And even this, during this, uh, the present period, they also provide what is called uh, a loan to the customers. And that is why uh, the central bank also uh, mandated it for uh, all the commercial banks, all the financial institu institutions to keep a special, uh, a special requirement or special deposit with the central bank in case by the time they are, uh, by the time they have what is called uh, all the are facing the present uh, period or they are uh, this time then that one can serve as relief to them. There, there's what is called cost advantage over lending, uh, over direct lending and borrowing. So there will be cost advantage because when you want to borrow, then you, if you want to lend money. So it's as simple as that you are going to pay an uh, interest on any uh, loan that you want to collect from the bank. They also provide financial managerial, technical advice, and consultancy to business firms. You don't just go there to, uh, please, bank, uh, can you please uh, get me a, a certain amount of money? No. They have to look at, they give advice. What do you want to make use of this money to do? Do you want to make use, uh, make use of this money to uh, buy or to pay for us rent? No. If, if, if you can be no, if you cannot be able to answer this question uh, properly, I don't think bank will be able to end or any financial institutions will be able to give grant that loan to you. So they will give the advice, managerial advice and technical advice on the purpose of what you are, what you want to make uh, use of that loan for. So before they can grant that loan to you, so uh, it's good to uh, obtain loan from the bank, use it to do a tangible business, don't collect loan to pay out rent, or to, uh, to pay, I mean, any, or to use it on uh, any ceremonial activities. It's not wise enough. Use it to do a tangible business, business that in the next one or two years, you'll be able to, you should be able to get uh, a profitable business will be able to get what is called profit on it. So I believe that one is better than. Okay, let us look at the demerits, demerits, or you can call it disadvantages. Uh, then 
is there's a problem. The failure to link directly to the developmental impact. Yes, this may cause problem when you cannot be able to use this money for any developed or capital projects. So it will be very, very difficult. So again, inadequate attention to social and environmental concerns. So this will also cause problem. Then training of people and lack of vision and uh, awareness may also cause this. So training people, maybe uh, there are some people that they may not have what is called adequate uh, knowledge on this uh, loan for obtaining uh, of this loan. So initial investment in system and processes and people, uh, the initial investment will also cause problem to these financial institutions. Failure of multiple financial institutions. When we have uh, many financial institutions and they have been failing for a long period of time. So that is uh, the advantages. Let us look at the types of banks. Uh, types of bank, we have five. We have central bank, we have commercial bank, merchant banks, mortgage banks, and uh, development bank. Please, my student, uh, if anybody asks you what are the types of bank, don't tell the first bank. Don't tell them uh, UBA bank, or you say WEMA bank, or Union bank. No. All these are examples of commercial banks. They are under the commercial banks. So, never you tell them that. Example of the commercial banks, you can give them, you have First Bank, uh, I mean, Guaranteed Trust Bank, you have Access Bank, you have a United Bank for Africa, UBA, you have WEMA Bank, you have Union Bank. All these are examples of uh, what? Commercial bank. So, take notes. Uh, let us look at Central Bank. Central Bank, that is the highest, the apex financial institution in the country, which carries out the monetary policy of the government. So the highest financial institutions, you must know this is where they meet money, they print money as well. So the highest or apex financial institutions, and they are dealing with monetary policy of the government. And uh, it's the sole authority in the banking industry that acts as a banker to the government. So uh, they act as a banker to the government and commercial banks. So there's central bank don't accept deposit from the government. So it is not possible for the central bank to accept deposit from the uh, customers. So they are only, uh, they have authority, uh, I mean, they are the banker to the government and to the commercial bank. So they also control and regulate the supply of money. So money available in the circulation uh, in the particular country is supply of money. So you must know that. So it's the central bank that will control this. And they are the only one that has the right to, uh, I mean, to print uh, the, our currency in the country. So you must know that. Commercial banks don't do that, and they don't accept deposit from the customers. So functions of the commercial banks, the issue currency, I've told you, uh, it is the only institutions empowered by law to issue currency that serve as minimum of exchange. So they are the only one that can issue what currency in the country. And that currency they want to use that will serve as million of exchange. Yes. For use money to buy goods, you can use that as million of exchange. Uh, then it has a monopoly of printing, I've told you. Uh, they are the only one, monopoly. Monopoly is when we have only one. Uh, the only bank, the only bank that can print money. There's no any other bank in the country that can do that. So they also regulate the uh, currency in circulation. So uh, this one I have here, lender of last resort. The commercial banks and financial institutions can go to the central bank. Yes, commercial bank, development bank, market bank, and mortgage bank. So when they are, uh, uh, by the time they are, uh, by the time they, I mean, they have, by the time they cannot get uh, or they are in a situation of depression. So they can go to the central bank 
to what? To uh, get money from them, from the central bank. And we are still coming because commercial bank must have special deposit with the uh, central bank. So just like customer, we are calling ourselves customer to the bank. By the time we don't have enough money, by the time we are short of money, then we go to our bank to withdraw. Even the commercial bank, they can be, uh, by the time they are short of money, they don't have enough in their circulation as well, they can go to the, they will go to the central bank. So the central bank will raise them. We raise them. So, or anytime they have a financial problem, they can go to the commercial, uh, central bank can go to the, uh, central, I mean, commercial bank can go to the central bank. Not only commercial bank, the other financial institutions as well. Can go to the uh, can go to the central bank for financial assistance. Then we also have bankers bank. This is a bank to all other banks. You must know. Central bank is bankers bank. Uh, what I mean by bankers bank is the bank to all other banks. So I've said it the other time. Banker bank to the to all other bank. The central bank gives account for commercial and other financial institutions. They keep account for the commercial bank and other financial institutions, and this helps the commercial bank to have similar facilities to offer to their customers. You must bear that in mind. Then, bankers to the government, government make use of central bank to make a uh, deposit only uh, government as well as a commercial commercial banks and other financial institutions that can deposit to the central bank. They also obtain loan on behalf of the government. They obtain loan. Then they also control the public uh, account. They receive revenue at uh, this time of lockdown. But uh, if they want to send money to the uh, country, Nigeria, like uh, World Health uh, WHO, World Health Organization, they will use the central bank account to send the money. So, and they make payment for this uh, account. Then, again, we also have provision of uh, monetary guidelines. The central bank is responsible with the monetary policy of the country. So, it's possible they can, uh, you can see it, it can be used both by the expansionists and restrictionists. What do I mean by that? They expand uh, the bank can expand their policy and they can also uh, reduce or uh, they can also, I mean, try to reduce the policy so that they will control the quality and value of money in the circulation. So uh, let us look at uh, the commercial banks. Commercial banks are financial institutions which are self deposits. They are self minded. So do you, commercial, uh, central bank don't accept deposit. They, are, they only accept deposit from the government, commercial banks, and other and other banks. So in commercial bank, they accept deposits and uh, other valuables documents from the public. And we customer are the public for safekeeping, and they make profit in this bank. Commercial bank make profits. Uh, then commercial banks are limited liability companies. You must know that loan, the loans are usually for short and medium terms. So they allow loan, loan for short and medium terms. And uh, what are they? They are owned by, it's possible that uh, the private individual can own this, commercial bank, institutions can own it, even as well as government as well. Let us look at the functions of commercial bank. They accept deposit from the customer, acceptance of deposit. Commercial banks accept deposit from customer. So they accept deposit from the customer. The deposit can be withdrawn on demand or after giving a sufficient notice. So uh, the, they can give notice on demand. If they like, they can go there to withdraw money. You as a customer, you are free to go if you are not operating a, uh, this type of uh, account, 
fixed deposit account. So the fixed deposit account, they can give a notice of uh, uh, 14 days before you can withdraw your money. We have cash of uh, bank account, we have current account, you can see, we have savings account here, current account, current account is here, we have savings account, then we also have fixed deposit account. So, uh, fixed deposit account, when you open it, you, you, are, you are intended to collect or to withdraw from that account after six months. So, after six months, if I told you go there in the next five months, they will not attend to you. They want to withdraw, you have to give them notice that uh, they would like to come and withdraw. Notice of uh, two weeks, 40 weeks, 40 days. So, agent of payment, uh, commercial bank can act as agent of payment on behalf of their customer. Yes, it's possible. Money can also be transferred from one account to by the time money, by the time they transfer money from one account to another, they are acting as an agent of payment on behalf of their customer as well. So they we also have lending of money, a deposit for customer are put together. So their deposit, they will pull it together and giving out as loan on a quadra with interest to pay. With the interest, they are giving uh, as, as loan and deposit to the customer, that one will serve as income to the bank. And then for profitable investment. So this is one of the sources we have got where the commercial bank gets their, uh, I mean, profits. Uh, by the time they give out loan, maybe it can be as a result of it. They can also give out overdraft. Overdraft simply means different from loan. Uh, loan of a draft is when you withdraw more than what you have in your account. When you offer you overdrawn from your bank account. So that is a offer draft. So mind you, I've told you, don't just go to uh, the bank and tell them that you want to withdraw when you have a zero account. It's not possible. You must have been a businessman, a business, a web businessman that have been doing business and the bank manager know you, then you have something that uh, what I mean by something is you have the property assets that can replace that loan that you want to collect. To be in case when you default, simply means when you are unable to pay. So that one will serve as your uh, it will serve that one will replace the loan you are collecting from the bank. Then safe keeping of valuables. One of the function of a commercial bank is to safe keep customer valuable documents. And they also act as, as a custodian of customer valuable document. They make sure that any document you are keeping with Central Bank, they keep them very, very well for you. They acting as agent of payment, uh, said the other time, uh, any check, draft, and they will collect it. And you must know, they also collect dividend on behalf of the customer. Yes, dividend. Maybe you are, you, I mean, you best shares in the ABC company. Uh, at the end of the day, declare dividend, you can instruct ABC company to pay the dividend direct to your bank account. So it's possible they can do that. Uh, which is very, very possible. So uh, lastly, let us look at the uh, instrument of monetary policy. Uh, these are instruments or how the uh, central bank control the activities of commercial banks. The same thing as the instrument of uh, monetary policy. These are instruments or weapons adopted by the central bank to regulate and control the commercial bank. The central bank uses the following instrument to control commercial banks and supply of money in the economy. One, open market operation. So the government, I mean the central bank, will allow uh, commercial bank to be operating on open market operation. What do I mean by that? Open market operation simply means buying and selling of securities. So they allow commercial bank, commercial bank to buy and to sell security. So the I mean the the buy and selling of security from also the commercial bank can do that. They can also buy from outside as well, in order to reduce or increase the money of uh, volume of volume of money in circulation. The central bank applies this policy 
idea of regulating the volume of money in calculator. So that's what they are doing in open market of children, buy and selling of security. So Mazaba can buy, they can sell as well. Then bank rate. The minimum rate of interest charged by the central bank for discounting, for discounting bill of etching. Uh, uh, the, the, this has to be the minimum lending rate. Uh, minimum lending rate stip stipulated. Yes, there was a time bank was deducting uh, 52 naira from the uh, customer account. Then that was as at last year, uh, 2019. Then, as I did say, the central bank regulate this rate for all the commercial banks and uh, the other banks. Uh, they are now charging half of what that uh, 52 naira, now 26 naira. So you can see that central bank has that right to control the activities of the uh, commercial banks and any other uh, banks. So uh, that is it. Then well, another name for that bank rate is discount rate ratio or discount rate. So uh, let us look at the liquidity ratio. Uh, the central bank mandates all commercial banks to keep certain percentage of their deposit as a result. If we have 25 billion naira, you should be able to, in the uh, commercial bank, you should be able to keep at least 5 million, 5 billion naira with the central bank. So that uh, in, uh, in case if the commercial bank is uh, in sort of a shortage of money, or they, by the time they uh, not be able to meet up with their customers' uh, demand. So uh, they keep a certain percentage with the central bank. So in case when they uh, experience what is called depression in, the, uh, in, in their bank, so that uh, they keep uh, the ratio will be kept high and or low to encourage or discourage lending. So sometimes they can increase the rate of uh, uh, and mid loan, or they can keep it high as well, so that people will not be able to uh, patronize them. Then another one is also, I mean, another name for it, liquidity ratio is cash ratio. Same thing, cash ratio. Then let us look at lastly, we have moral situation. Uh, moral situation is this, I mean, the central bank can make an appeal to the commercial bank to restrict or expand the lev uh, level of credit to the public. Yes. When they look at central bank, uh, they can make a disappeal to the commercial bank that they should reduce the lending way of giving out loan to their prospective or respective customers. They can do this. So that this, by the time they do this, uh, they are trying to regulate the activities of uh, uh, of commercial banks. We have so many commercial banks that they've liquidated. Uh, we have so many commercial banks. We have General Society Bank and so on. So they have, uh, we have National Bank. They are no more existing again. They've liquidated as a result of uh, they fail to follow this uh, uh, instrument of uh, monetary policy. I believe that if the central bank can follow this, they will still be in business. But well, the moment they will, Fail to follow this policy, they will not be in the system again. So there are so many banks. We have there was a time we have bank PhD. Uh, we have uh, this bank. Uh, they are no more existing again. Sky Bank. We have Africa Bank. Due to the fact that they cannot keep, uh, they cannot follow this uh, principle. That is why uh, the principle of the instrument of uh, monetary policy. So if uh, even any private business or uh, uh, maybe private business or any other business can also follow this so that uh, they'll be able to be in business and they'll be able to make a sustainable profit. This moral system is not based on the use of force. They are not compelling people. Uh, they will just try to use it to appeal so that they will uh, reduce or expand the lending policy in the system. So, my student, uh, you can see a comprehensive note in your lesson. Go to the school website, you will see the uh, notes 
on these financial institutions, and God will bless you. I uh, advise for you, stay away from this disease. God Almighty, that is there, will be with each and every one of us. Uh, say, I'll see you next time, and then uh, bye for now. <laughs>